dollars. Two actors, Jamie Elman, Ellie Battalion. Uh, welcome to the show. Thanks so much. Thank you for Very having happy. us. Very happy. You guys are here to tell us about this new web series that uh, you've uh, produced and, and acted in it, and of course created, called Yid Life Crisis. Mm -hmm. Tell me what inspired uh, you guys to start this project. Basically, Jamie and I went to school together at a high school called Bialik High School here in Montreal. And there we learned the Yiddish language. It's one <laughs> of the few places where you can actually learn the Yiddish language. And uh, we went off, we did our own entertainment things throughout life. But at a certain point, we met up again and decided we should do a project that sort of speaks to our roots and that we can have a lot of fun with. We yes. want to pay tribute to good Jewish comedy that has some deep Yiddish roots in North America. <laughs> And we thought, yeah, why don't we just take the old stuff and sort of put it to the web in a new sort of format and also address our own uh, midlife crises. <laughs> so we'll just call it Yidlife Crisis. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, the, I mean, the tagline for the show is sex, drugs, and milk and meat yeah. in Yiddish. Yes. How is, has it been weird? Has it been strange to sort of, you know, adopt this dark humor and put it all in Yiddish? And well, that was the idea. Generally, people associate Yiddish, as they should, with you know being an old and dead or dying language, and, and we wanted to uh, bring it into the 21st century. We're not the only ones or the first ones to be trying to do this, but we're, we push the envelope with the language a little bit by, for example, the reference to milk and meat is a reference to the Jewish dietary laws of keeping kosher. Normally, uh, you wouldn't associate a show that's going to be talking about mixing milk and meat, breaking the Jewish laws, and doing it in Yiddish. <laughs> and, and at La Banquise, right. at the same time. Of, of all places, of, of course, all places. the best it, the poutine it, joint in Montreal. If you're going to do it, you might as well. Go big. Oh, yes. Go big or go home. I agree. And what's the response been, especially in the, in the Jewish community? Our parents hate it. Okay. Um, well, we don't know. They haven't talked to us in three months. That's true, but it's, it's <laughs> not. I can't Just really kidding. say that. Hi, Mom. Good morning. Um, hi, good morning. Um, no, the, the community has been uh, amazingly supportive. We weren't sure because the truth is, for some people, this could be very controversial. Mm. Um, you know, in, in the first episode, we're, we're not only mixing milk and meat, but we're, we're breaking the fast on the holiest fasting day of the year. Right. And we, we do a bunch of other stuff, which to some people could be very controversial. But the response to what we found from the Jewish community, not just in Montreal, but from emails we've gotten from actually around the world, mm. is that people can really uh, uh, appreciate that we're making fun of our culture good. and our oh, religion. Good, good. And learning about it in the process. Absolutely. And actually, the, the whole thing was funded by the Jewish Community Foundation of Montreal Great. that basically said, it's, we like the spirit of what you guys are doing and go and do your creative thing and they left us alone Amazing. to basically do it and do our own well, craziness. You'll be at the Siegel Center tomorrow uh, of course to talk about it after party a panel as well. This is at 8 p.m. at the Siegel Center. For those who want to attend, uh, briefly, quickly, uh, you know, it's a sad day for Montrealers, for, for Quebec and Canada. Uh, it is uh, the, the last chance to say goodbye to Jean Béliveau. Does, do any of you have a, a quick story uh, about Jean Béliveau? We don't have any uh, direct anecdote, but we were just talking before mm -hmm. about how in Yiddish there's a word for somebody who's an upstanding citizen or individual. It's called mensch. It literally means person, right. but it means somebody who's highly ethical, a and true that, gentleman. That, gentleman, yes. That, of and I wore the bleu blanc rouge. And Perfect. He was a, Perfect time. one of the greats. Guys, thank you so much uh, you. for stopping thank by you. this morning. And uh, good much. luck with uh, your, your little time here in Montreal. Merci All right, coming beaucoup. up on the show, we will be joining Laura Casella. She is right.